photojournalism. Hello! Important events in history are usually combined with some images. The reason behind that is that someone was there and took photos. That person is called a photojournalist. Photojournalism is a way of telling news stories with pictures. The stories created must follow the rules of journalism. They must be true stories and the journalist must try to tell the story in the most fair, balanced and impartial way possible. Here is what you need to remember about photojournalism. Capturing the moment. Photojournalism should capture current issues or breaking news. It should feature something that is happening now, something that's on the news or something people are talking about. When you are taking a photo to cover the news, keep in mind that good photos can tell a story even better than the text. In order to tell a story, your photos should have the following elements. People, emotions such as facial expressions or gestures, action, something extraordinary or unusual. Photojournalism must be objective. Pictures have to be honest no matter what a photojournalist believes in. The most important thing is to present the images as they are. After all, photojournalism is journalism. There are different fields of photojournalism. General news, such as press conferences, ceremonies, etc. Breaking news, sports photography and documentary photojournalism, which refers to long-term photography projects that follow their subject for a long time. We may practice journalism, but don't forget about the aesthetics. Your photos should focus on the faces of people. Take photos of people in action, of people doing things. Make sure that your subject is always in focus. Know what your central subject should be. Always take note of the angle of the shots you are taking. To make sure that you choose the right angle, take a couple of shots in different perspectives. Never forget the basic rules. As in every form of journalism, in photojournalism we follow the rules of deontology. Don't look for something shocking, look for the significant and powerful. And even if you are covering a dangerous topic, such as a wildfire or an earthquake, remember that your safety comes first. So take your camera and start practicing! See you on the next video!